Hello friends. My name is Kashif Raza with new video of ADB programming. I say you welcome. Today, my friends, I told you how we can enable our ADB debugging mode of our Android device like phone by creating its custom ROM. For doing this, first of all, first of all, you extract your boot.img file from your ROM. Then we unpack boot.img file with tool which I create, and then we change the default.prop file and then we again repack the boot.img file and then this boot.img file we flash on our mobile then our adb debugging mode is enabled my friends this is our tool which help us to unpack our boot.img file. This boot.img file is my phone device. I extract this file my phone custom my phone ROM and I save it here in the same location where our program execution start. This is our boot.img tool. I double click on boot.img tool. This my tool is start. Now I click here unpack. First we unpack and then we repack by changing some boot.img file. I click on unpack. Friends here you can see boot.img unpack successfully and here you can see my boot.img file is unpacked now i go to in init rd folder and here you can see default.prop i edit it with notepad plus plus and here we change some values now what values change and what properties change i save this picture here here we see ro score is equal to 1 to ro score is equal to 2 here we see ro score is equal to 1 is equal to 0 we change 1 to 0 now ro adb score one is uh, score is equal to one two zero now r o a d b here r o a d b one two zero and now here see r o debuggable is equal to zero to r o debuggable is equal to one now we change value debuggable value here one two sorry 0 to 1 this is already 1 if this value is 0 then it must be made to 1 in my case it's already 1 so I never change it because it is already 1 if it is 0 then I change it to 1 and then this dot sys dot usb config is equal to none none to persist usb adb is equal to adb and here it's my mtp here i do ad b now i save it again by simple control s 
now i save it by simple pressing control s and then i close it close in this file we change the make changes now i again repack it now i double click on my tool and again i click on repack boo.img repack successfully here you see my boo.img pack this is my old and this is my new this is my old boo.img file this is my new i select boot old and delete now i rename it only to boot this my file is ready for flashing on our device now i click double click on my tool and here you see flash boot.img now i am flash boot.img file on our phone first search device this my device shown this my device shown now i take it in fast boot mode device in boot mode my device fast boot mode now i click on flash boot dot img file device boot dot img file flash successfully now boot dot img file successfully now you reboot your device by simple clicking on this button reboot device boot device device is in normal mode now you check your adb debugging mode i am sure it's in able so my friends in this way we can enable adb debugging mode in able by creating our custom rom now my device is starting i am check here by device adb debugable mode is enabled so friends if you not subscribe my channel yet please subscribe my channel and likes my video okay goodbye dosto we meet in new our in next video okay goodbye my friends